Alex says, Bradley, how likely how likely is it to get a Forbes or HuffPost like website to mention me on their site if I contact them? Say I do land a backlink from them. How many would someone need to gain authority in the health beauty niche to rank from zero to at least the first five pages? Well, you mean from not not indexed or not in the top 100 to the first five pages? I'm assuming that's what you mean, Alex. Um, how hard is it to get a link from them? Well, you know, if you could get a guest post, like if you could somehow work your way in and get a guest post on them, you could get it that way. Um, something else you could do is there are what they call editorial links. There are a lot of services out there, there now that sell editorial links. They're damned expensive. Yep. I mean, hugely expensive. Sometimes they're thousands and thousands of dollars for one link. Um, and in fact, uh, Hernan, can you? I know local client takeover. Those guys have an editorial link service. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'll, can you locate I'll, I'll that and that. drop it on the event page for him? Yep. It's really expensive. I mean, th but I mean that's that's why it's expensive because those links are so effective, and it's very difficult to get your own. Uh, you know, to to kind of weasel your way in and get a link on your own. Um, you have to pretty much build relationships with journalists and things like that, that are regular contributors. Uh, to those um, media outlets in order to get them to, you know, use a quote of yours or something like that uh, in one of their articles, in which case they'll link back to you. So it's it's difficult to do that. I mean, you can, if you've got the time, um, then you can, you know, you could do that. You could, uh, like, one another another site that you could look at to for opportunities to comment on stories that are going to be written um, would be Harrow, help a reporter out. That's something else you can sign up. I think you can sign up for a free account and get alerts on a daily basis, um, and that's called Help a Reporter Out. Let's let's go take a look at that real quick. And they'll 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 email you upcoming like uh, requests from journalists and you know writers, bloggers, and that kind of thing that are looking for experts in that particular subject matters, and they'll tell you what the subject matter of the articles are, and then you can submit your um you know a um you can submit details to the writer. Saying that you know you you could be quoted on that, and then when they quote you, that's when they'll link back to you. So let's take a look at this real quick. Help a reporter out right there. So it's helpareporter.com. Okay, that's it right there. You can sign up for free uh, services. I'm a source. Uh, sign up that way, and then you can get them to send you um, every day. They'll send you some uh, you know available opportunities and things like that. Now you'll be competing with others too, so just keep that in mind. So it, it, it definitely takes work, and that's why those services like the one that um, Hernan's going to drop on the page is is valuable because it you know they've done all the legwork. You just pay them a lot of money to, and you get get the link back. So hopefully that was helpful. Yeah, and, um, I'm talking to Mark Lockenbaugh from LCT, and they do not have it publicly, but they will toss us uh, a contact uh, information so that you know if you guys are interested in getting it, it's not cheap. But no. you know they can they can get the job done for you. Another option that uh, you know I've been I've been diving like deep into guest posting to increase like brand awareness for semantic mastery and whatnot. And you know there are a bunch of people out there that you would think that they wouldn't even you know answer your emails. And and it's kind of not like that. If you have like something uh, worth saying or sharing, Alex, um, go ahead and pitch them. You may be lucky. And at some point, you need, you need you just need to follow up with the guys and whatnot. But you know, it's kind of I thought it would be harder, but we landed some nice guest posts. And we're we're talking not only about the link possibility or the link shoes, but the traffic that these guest posts can get. You know, so uh, you have several options. The other option is to scrape them using blue chip backlinks. You know, and 301 those uh, links. To your um, to whatever you want to uh, you want to rank, you know that's like the third option. Yeah, that's not quite as effective. It's still effective, and it's it's better than not having them at all. And uh, like blue chip backlinks, in fact, um, I pretty sh maybe not. I'm, I'm I might be thinking of the old crawler I was using, but they used to have um, specific categories like from CNN. Um, Huffington Post, Forbes, you know, those kind of things, uh, Entrepreneur, Inc. Magazine, they used to have, like, lists of available domains that they had scraped. Um, that might have been the other crawler. Um, but regardless, you can crawl it yourself if you want, if you have access to that tool. So 